I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. You know when I do these videos in Saturday football, for real. So I'm watching Tulane versus Kansas State, or should we say Kansas State versus Tulane? Atrocious. Kansas State is ranked number 17th in the nation. All I heard from Dylan Edwards' groupie supporters who don't watch football, he went to the better team. He went to, look, Kansas State is supposed to be better than Colorado football. Let's stop capping. Kansas State for three years had the better team. For three years, they've been consistent. So what's going on versus Tulane? Tulane is not even ranked. I think they're the 80th ranked team or 90th, something like that. And they're managing you guys and handling you guys. They're doing a great job offensively and defensively. The score in halftime right now is 20 to 10. Where's all my Dylan Edwards fans out here? We, didn't, we need to have a serious conversation. Dylan Edwards finally touched the ball during four minutes and 15 seconds. And I wrote it down because I'm watching the game. I'm not like you groupies. Everything I say is because I'm physically watching it. You people wait for highlights and then get the yap into me. Now, if you're my supporters and you can't watch the game, this is why y'all support me because I'm going to keep you guys updated. I actually love you guys, but it's the other people who didn't even really watch it. And instead of being like you guys who just support and watch me deliver the news, they get the yapping in the comment section and they didn't even watch the game. Dylan Edwards finally touched the ball with four minutes and 15 seconds left in the game. Dylan Edwards, on top of that, let me tell you guys what happened. He had negative four yards. He couldn't do anything. They didn't even know he's alive. I keep telling you, Dylan Edwards is barely the third string running back. When you look at the depth chart, it says two different running backs are fighting for the third string position. You, I forgot, I think is uh, something white. His last name is White. And you got Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards got the number three, but it fluctuates with the number four. So you're barely, you're basically a fourth string running back for an offense you claim was better than Colorado. You you claim you wanted to go somewhere where better quarterback play. That was a shot at Shador. But then you did an interview talking about we're good. You're not good with your Shador. He's not good with you either. You're a Benedict Arnold, my man. You're not even good with Deion Sanders. You You transferred without letting the man know what was going on with you. You know I'm going to come with that edit video. It doesn't matter if Kansas wins the game or not. They're supposed to beat Tulane. The fact you guys are struggling tells me everything. But I'm going to make an edit video that highlights everything. Y'all know how I do it for y'all, man. Shout out to my supporters. The edit video is going to show everything that's going on, everything going wrong, the miscues. All I was doing was watching Edwards. Wait, don't worry. I got like seven minutes for halftime to be done with. And I said, let me just do this video right quick, man. Why even wait for it? It seems that everybody who has transferred from Colorado football, it's not advantageous for you guys on the other side. Look how my grass is cut. Deion Sanders need to start cutting Colorado grasses all the way because a lot of you snake people who come to Deion, you expect him to do a miracle with you, what four or five other coaches couldn't do with you. So you blame Deion Sanders for reasons that as far as the cause of why you're not reaching the level you think you'll reach. Because every football player wants to reach the NFL. Deion Sanders told the truth, unlike other coaches that y'all trust so much. Deion said, not everybody goes to the league, man. Out of 100 players, you'll be lucky if one even goes to the league, bro. People don't even add those numbers up. But everybody on the team think they're that guy. Everybody is Jordan or goes by the Jordan rules. Dylan Edwards thought he was that guy. To hear his supporters say this crap about Dylan didn't say anything negative about Colorado. Why y'all bashing him? First of all, we're not bashing him. Second of all, he's not a kid. He's a young man. At his age, I was in Iraq. At his age, I know a couple of soldiers who was in their second tours in Iraq. Yes, I got friends who went to Iraq at 17. Stop telling me Dylan Edwards is a kid, all right? Second of all, Dylan Edwards is the one who said these negative things first about the university. All he did was get in the yap and throwing shades after shades because he masquerade around like pretending to be a real alpha, a real man. He was none of that. He's these new... Uh, I guess educational purpose, sore boys type of vibes. You feel me? The beta males who try to pretend to be red pill and alpha, but you can smell the Similac still in his breath. Somewhere is his mom with some big gasoline educational purpose, breast full of milk and saying, bro, you need to come suck on some. You feel me? That's the situation we have with a Dylan Edwards. He's a privileged kid who's been given everything in my personal opinion. 
He works hard to a certain degree because when you're privileged, you only can work so hard until the point you think you've earned things just based on connections, based, based on existence. You thought because Coach Prime is like this with your father and he coached you in Pop Warner days or whatnot when you were younger in your adolescence, you thought it was supposed to be a given. You get the number one running back position, but there's a dog who came from that mud. His name is Charlie Arfadog. He said, who the hell is it, Dylan Edwards? We don't care about four stars over here. We from the mud. If you from the mud, it don't matter if you black, white, Spanish, Hispanic, none of that, bro. Asian, when you from the mud, we can relate to each other because we have to overcome everything. Nothing was given to us and we don't want no handouts and we don't want people to feel sorry for us. You feel me? We just want to earn our, our, our given right to play on this team. Almost like a Rudy situation when everybody was like, Rudy. Rudy, who who didn't tear up? Who didn't cheer for Rudy to be the number one player during that Notre Dame game? I know it's a movie, but it happened in real life. And I fell in love with the character. And it's like when I look at dudes like a Dylan Edwards, don't tell me to be a part of his bandwagon. The only reason you groupies of Dylan Edwards are pretending to be his supporters is because of your visceral and hate for Deion Sanders and Colorado football. You can't fool me. I know you better than you know yourself. There's a reason why your parents can't stand you. Your kids can't stand you because you've been half stepping your whole life. Now you all want to pretend you're a Dylan Edwards fan. But I guarantee you 98 percent of you yappers in the comments who are pretending to be Dylan Edward fans, you didn't even watch the game. <laughs> My point proven right here, you're a failed groupie and you hate Dion. It's the only reason you know the existence of Dylan Edwards. Us real fans, we've been know about Dylan Edwards. We know about his commitments already. That's why I was shocked he even came to Colorado. We've seen where he committed the go to already. But here comes you naysayers. Like I said, Tulane is not a duck school. But compared to the crap of what Dylan Edward is saying and what your media said about Deion Sanders versus North Dakota State, who I guarantee North Dakota State would beat Kansas State and they would beat Tulane. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating about beating Kansas State, but it'll definitely be a tough game just the same as well as you've seen with Dion and North Dakota State. Right. Nebraska, even if they beat us, we beat them already. We got nothing to prove with this game. Nebraska beat a UTEP team that only won three games last year. While uh, 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 your guys have to beat a, a play against a North Dakota team that won 10 games and everybody acting like Dion failed because he struggled against a good team. I don't call that struggle. I call it playing hard football and doing the proper X's and O's to come out with the victory. But you see all these other teams, they, they, they dance around it. Remember, Kansas State is ranked number 17. There's no God awful reason the score should be 20 to, uh, to 10 during halftime right now. I'm about to go inside, see the other half of the game. You guys tell me the Dylan Edward make a mistake or not? Let me know in the comment sections. And if you're going to comment, you can comment, but don't try to argue with me. And you know damn well you didn't watch the game. You're just an embarrassing groupie. And we're not bashing your idol, Dylan Edwards, your fourth string running back. <laughs>